Challenge. Use a challenge wheel to pick your monkeys and heroes. Okay. All right, so this first wheel right here will be spinning for the hero that we will have within our strategy. So without further ado, let's get to spinning it and let's see what we ultimately freaking get. Come on, come on. Quincy, is it Quincy? It's my boy freaking Quincy, ladies and gentlemen. The best hero clearly in battles too. So can't be mad with that. Are you kidding me? Nothing gets past my bow. And now we have the wheel with all the towers. So let's give it a spin here and let's see what we ultimately get. Come on, come on, come on. We got the banana farm. No way. All right, let's see what we get next here. Okay, so we got banana farm. Now we need some towers that can revolve around it. No, no. Glue, bro. There's no way. All right, what's the last tower gonna be? Glue farm, I swear if it's a village. I swear, I swear if it's a village. Glue farm sub. Guys, this strategy is definitely gonna be pretty interesting, but let's see how we do. All right, so our opponents got Captain Churchill as their hero. We, of course, got our boy Quincy, the best hero in Battles 2 by a landslide, and we got the wonderful map Oasis, and we're again using the strategy glue farm sub. Yikes, but we're gonna make it work here. Do not freaking worry I'm thinking about starting off with Quincy more towards the back of the map Especially too because our opponent is currently not sending us anything. So I'm gonna get that pixel Perfect placement. I'm not sure though if I want to start off with the glue or the sub I feel like starting off with the sub wouldn't be Honestly that bad of an idea. Maybe like more of a here too by the way We're gonna try it out because the idea is here to set this bad boy to last I also went for the twin guns upgrade on this as well And then hopefully Quincy can just like clean up pretty much all the balloons that happen to get past uh, We might leak here, but honestly life advantage does not matter in this situation. Nope Quincy nothing gets past his bell. This is kind of greedy, but I'm gonna go for our first banana farm here as well Again, our opponents got Captain Churchill and also a dart here I'm assuming they're gonna try to either go for a crossbow or maybe a spike pole. Okay, we need air burst darts here for these group blues. Cause yeah, now uh, things will be getting past Quincy's bow. Oh my God, a lot of things will be getting past his bow. Holy crap, yeah. Definitely a greedy play on my behalf with going for that farm once again. I didn't have a level three ability either or else I would have used that, but now we do in case we do need that. Still, even with this air burst darts, it looks like some red balloons and stuff. Are getting by but again quincy hopefully should be able to like clean up the few balloons that do happen to get by and yeah our opponent ended up going for the crossbow okay so fair play well done with that i'm gonna go for a 200 farm here before the start of round five and then we're probably gonna need triple guns here um in order to defend against like space whites and stuff but i'm honestly not sure like thankfully our opponent just isn't being aggressive with space eco sense like he has yet to do any of that uh, thus far so i appreciate that but i feel like if he were to be doing that we would definitely be struggling okay let's go for triple guns anyway here for these grouped greens and then if we need to we're gonna cross path this bad boy um which it looks like we need to actually okay so let's just go for that now i'm gonna use level three ability here too as well i didn't realize that many balloons got past our sub here but with the barb darts upgrade oh okay space blacks let's see if we can defend remember this is set to last ah uh, it's like it's like inconsistent. It's it's a little inconsistent. Guys. Should we just go for like a glue or something then? Just to help slow down some of these balloons. Literally just a zero, zero, zero glue. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, tower boost. We're not dead there. We're not dead there. Oh my goodness, man. Okay, we're fine. We're, we're absolutely fine. Went for a glue here, a two, two, zero glue. Okay, so that can definitely stall out a lot of balloons for us and also just pop down some of the balloons. Oh, he's struggling now. He went for a sniper. The sniper is not going to save you, my friend. It, it is not. It actually, it might. He just needs to pop off the black balloon layer. Off the black balloons, of course, since Churchill struggles to those. And then he should be absolutely chilling. No way balloons are still getting passed with our current setup. There's no way. Okay, I still need to go for this plantation, by the way. So let's finally go for that here on round nine. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Obviously, during these mid-game rounds, I would like to go for a reactor, which the reactor specifically got buffed in the most recent update to this game. I'm not sure what the most optimal cross path is. Okay, wait. I'm going to stop eco in here, first of all. Second of all, I'm going to go for, like I said, a reactor here. Oh, my God. Stop it. 
Stop it with the space zebras. I didn't have enough money to go for reactor yet. Okay, don't worry. We don't even want this. So sell you. Go for reactor. Um, We'll, tr we'll try out bottom path, okay? Because I, I swear they did something to the bottom path. If this is wrong, I'm sorry. I, I know we won't have the ability to pop lead balloons, but we do have this glue right here to pop those lead balloons. So that was kind of my thought process with that. And yeah, I'm just going to keep this glue here because I, I feel like this could actually help us out. It could slow down balloons once again for us. Um, some rainbows there. We should be absolutely fine. Oh, yeah. Dude, we shredded that. And now Quincy has bomb arrows too. So fires exploding arrows every third shot. That can also technically pop leads here. But during these mid-game rounds, we're just going to focus on eco win with group black balloons, of course. Oh, wait. His lead detection is not good either. Oh, don't tell me he's going to die to just group black eco, right? Uh, that would be kind of anticlimactic. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why he's not using level 3 ability. Did he use it recently? Or is he fine? Okay, I guess he's fine. Okay, fair play. Well done then. So we're going to be ecoing until about 1500 eco, and then we'll call it a day. By the way, we also have got to watch out for mobs on round 17. So our current mob class balloon defenses are non existent. Uh, so we're probably going to have to go with a sub. So we'll go for that right next uh, to our reactor right here. And we'll most likely go with the bottom path sub, but. The thing is, with the bottom path subs, typically cross pathing them with the top path is better. So that's why, like, when we cross path with the middle path with that sub that we had earlier on, I think during the earlier game rounds it's a bit better. But for the later game rounds, again, top cross path is in fact superior. We're going to stop Eco in here at 1500 Eco. He stopped Eco in as well. He's either going for a sniper farm, which it looks like he's not, or he's going to be rushing us, or maybe just going to get back to Eco in. Okay. So if he's just in the eco, then I think we're good to go with a marketplace here then. Oh, wait. How are these balloons all of a sudden getting through? I, I don't know if I needed to use level three. Okay, upgrade this now. Are you kidding me? Wait, what? what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Okay, we're fine. We're fine because now we got triple guns. Cross path. Oh, AP darts. AP darts for the win. I think we should be good with just that. I'm going to also though go for this. Okay, just to be safe. Maybe a little overkill. Definitely a little overkill. But I didn't have Quincy level three to rely on right there. So should I send him something? Just just to send something? Yeah, let's do it. Fortify Moab. Let's see how he reacts. He might, okay. He's gonna use level three ability on Captain Churchill. Oh, he's not even worried. He's going for a sniper farm. Oh, what the, okay. Dude, the bottom path sniper is actually insane now. Holy crap. Oh wait, we gotta make sure that we can uh, afford this. So I got to sell both of you then. Unfortunate, but definitely would like to have the BRF before the start of round 20 here. And round 20 is in fact here, of course. I'm not going to send him anything, by the way. We're just going to focus on our farm game here, okay? Because we should be fine theoretically with our current setup. I was just scared about the fortified ceramics underneath uh, that fortified Moab whenever he decided to send that. Should I send him something or should we just let him be? I uh, just went for a supply drop over on his side. I, I feel like he would die if I send him as the OMG, but you know what? We'll, we'll send it anyway. It kind of takes away a little bit from our farms, but I was able to go for a central market before the start of round 23 here. So that is what ultimately matters. I'm going to upgrade this one, this marketplace right here, also eventually to a central market. And he can just use level 10 Captain Churchill ability on this, of course, but he has to worry about the ceramics underneath. He has to make sure that he goes for like an elite defender or something like that but yeah our farm game is actually not looking too shabby this kind of stalls out his farms oh wait he already used level 10 wait oh my god it only popped down to bfbs he needs more than that then he needs a lot more than that and by the way once we have around i think like sixteen thousand ish dollars we should be able to sell one central market and one brf into a monkey wall street let's see if he can defend this though he might just straight up die here. Yeah, he's so dead. He's, he has to worry about... He needs an elite defender or something. Right? Or he's going for Jug. Is Jug enough? Oh my god, he defended. Wait! Oh no! I wasn't paying attention! Oh my god, bro. I'm so bad. I'm actually... I'm selling. Oh no. Bomb... It. No. Fortified leads too. Okay, just go for glue hose then. Because I'm actually terrified of fortified leads. Fortified leads do a BOP. Okay, use level three, I guess. Oh my goodness, man. The fact that I missed that, we missed out on $10,000 right there. That is definitely an L on my behalf. 
And uh, by the way, we also do need... Maybe I should have Quincy right here instead. Because I would rather have my glue down here. But I guess we're going to have to go for our super glue more up here. It's round 26 right now. He could send us a DDT. And super glue is definitely going to be our best way of defending against that, okay? Okay, he never sent us one. So I'm going to go for a BRF here, which is a bit risky. But he still has yet to send us one. Let me at least go for like a Moab glue or something then. And he's still not sending us anything, man. So <laughs> I'm just greeting out of my absolute mind right now. Um, even though this is pretty scary because now it's round 28. So now he can send us fast cooldown DDT. So we definitely do have to play this cautiously. Maybe I just sell this. Um, let's go for Relentless right there. I'm going to go for one more BRF maybe. Dude, his farm game is actually like not looking all that bad. I I'm surprised that he, he defended against everything that we sent him that well. And round 30 is in fact here. Still never even went for the super glue, by the way. But we can't rush him just yet. Maybe, maybe I should buy Super Glue now, though. Because I actually can't even defend against this BFB without that, I don't think. But I think that's also the max farm spots that we can go for on this map, unfortunately. I never even went for the B Central, by the way. I definitely should have that, I feel like, at this point. I kind of just forgot to go for it, but at least we still have a ton of BRFs over on our side. Dude, look at the supply drops he has! Oh my goodness, bro! Holy crap, man. He has so many of them. Oh, okay. So we have got to all out this guy then here at the start of round 32 because he's not prepared. Oh, he's ninja. He's using dart, sniper, ninja. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. The second this round ends, we can't give him time to prepare his defenses. We've got to start all outing him with space fortified BADs. Why is round 31 so long, bro? Okay, let's get to it right now. Let's send him one there because again he he doesn't or, or maybe i should send him a crap ton not like not super dense because we want to like slowly but surely sell off our farms oh i did not mean to send those zomgs but you know that what that's fine because that forces um master bomber that forces master bomber for sure okay probably sell two of you got to make sure that we can defend against a potential counter guys okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna go for a glue storm just so I'm safe against that, I guess. Cause look at look at my setup, guys. I might have to go for something else or something. So yeah, we'll we'll go for like I don't know first strike or something. Have that. That's all I can really send him. Oh, balloon boost, of course. Okay, sell you now. Go for sub commander. Cause why not? He's dead. He's just dead. Yep. He didn't have enough time. DDT's all over top as well. Just to secure the victory there. Yeah, he just wasn't aggressive towards us. Like, I, I sent him all the rushes in the book. He never once sent me a rush. So, because of that, we're going to play another one. All right, so we're here in the next game. It's currently round 14. I'm going to go for a double banana plantation here. Because on this map, we've been popping the balloons, like, right as I come out the map. So, I'm honestly not sure if I want to shoot for 1,500 eco go. I might shoot for, like, 1,200 or something like that. But our current setup is Quincy, of course. And then we have a 320 balloon dissolver right here with also a 302 D camo reactor sub or a submergent support sub, I should say. Oh wait, some balloons are getting through. Wait. That that is that is definitely something to note. So I think here maybe, because I read the patch notes, so the balloon tonium reactor with this cross path is good if lead detection is not an issue. So I thought, yeah, with this. Set the strong that leads would not be an issue. Oh my god. Yeah, go for this. Because that, that's just straight up pinky good that we're struggling to. And I wouldn't want for balloon liquid fire, but balloon liquid fire is a bit more expensive. So that's why I decided to go with this. I know it's not the best reactor spot, but hopefully it will do. Round 17 is here. Okay, we've got to watch out then. He could 100,000 million percent on some Moab class balloon. If we see him stop with his eco, then he most likely will. But just to be safe, I'll have a sub on standby. We hit our 1,200 eco mark, so I guess we'll go to like 1,300 here. 1,301, yeah, that's more than enough in my opinion. We'll focus on our farms here. Our opponent's got a pretty weird strategy, by the way. Boomer Village, NG, Sentai, Churchill. Um, I, I don't know. I, I guess they want to go late game with that. They can't reach on their lives. So as long as we have the life advantage, then they're going to be kind of forced to rush us. But at the same time, I'm not taking the strategy to round 40, guys. There's just no way. All right. He never sent us anything. So I, I guess we can just go for a BRF here. If we need to, we'll sell this. 
Uh, but yeah, normally I sell my farm into this, but again, he just didn't send us anything. Are we fine against these ceramics? I really hope so. I really, really hope so. I think we are. Yeah, because Balloon Dissolver do be OP. Lead Balloons, he sees that we have weak lead detection. So we've got to watch out in that regard. I'm going to go for AP Darts here just for this Moab too, which is uh, a bit overkill, but we don't have the best Moab class balloon defenses right now. We could send him something, by the way, or sh should we just chill? Maybe, maybe, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We have Quincy level 10 if we need. What in the world? That was a lot of purples there. Okay, so since we kept this banana plantation, we're just going to go for another BRF here. He's sending more leads here. I think we're fine. I mean, what? Is he really trying to get those through? Put this back on the first, maybe? Okay. We should be good there. Yeah, Quincy, Quincy's actually not letting anything get past his bow. He can't really do anything right now against us either because if he sends us a ZOMG, we can of course just first strike it. Um, BFB would be a pretty easy defend as well. And I guess for the, the ceramics and everything underneath, instead of going with like a ballistic missile, because of course the ballistic missile would be all the way up here, we're gonna have to go for a glue, maybe like a top hat glue, since the shred ceramic layers, okay? And we gotta make sure that we go for, oh my God, wait, are we fine here? A lot of purples. Okay, use level three. Dude, he's just straight up equal with purples. Like, what in the world, man? I'm waiting to go for this here. Okay, go for that. Do I have to use Quincy level 10? Yep. Fortified ceramics somehow made it through. Okay, we're good here. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm actually gonna sell you. Instead, we're gonna go for... No, bro. No. Oh my god, please tell me we're fine. Oh my god. Oh! <gasps> One fortified ceramic made it through, or fortified lead. Oh, oh my goodness, man. Okay, we need to go for a glue right here. Okay, just go for this. Cause he won't show with the purples, bro. You're so dead to DDTs on round 26. Like it's not even freaking funny. Oh my goodness, man. Did he want the life advantage that bad? Again, I'm not taking the strategy to round 40 anyway. But now we're kind of in a pickle because uh, if he sends us DDTs here, Maybe we can first strike, actually. But the balloon solver really wasn't the play, but I, I know it's good more towards the front of the map. Or actually, is it isn't it good for cleanup? It might have been better more towards the back of the map, but for now, like since we're actually struggling to the AI and stuff. Oh, BFB. Why would you send that? Wait. Oh. Should be good there. Um. What's gonna what's gonna pop this down for us? A first strike. Oh, probably gonna have to go for Quincy level ten to pop that down. Or no? Uh, just do it anyway. Oh my god, that was scary. <laughs> I thought we were about to cause a massive regrow farm. Holy crap, that that was definitely terrifying. Our farms are not the greatest, but I, I was just nervous there. We had to go for the super glue, absolutely. But this guy's definitely dead to just one BAD here on round thirty. And he's still sending purples. Like, no, no, no. He he cannot get away with this. So here on round 30, yeah, I'm just going to send him an unfortified BAD. Because I know he's even dead to this. Like, straight up, he, he he's just dead. Okay, so we're going to have to watch out, though, here. In case he wants to counter with, like, DDTs or something. He's going to instantly tower boost. That's not going to do anything. I'm going to balloon boost that as well. I'm going to have a glue storm ready. More towards the back of the map, first of all. Second of all, we could probably send him another one here. Just to really show him, hey, you're not defending. You got to counter. I kind of hope he counters, but I mean, if he counters the DDTs, we know we can defend with having the super glue, right? So I'm going to sell you. I'm going to go for a sub commander here just to help us out. And yeah, there's really nothing he can do here. Oh, DDTs. Let's just tower boost, I guess, even though we probably didn't need to. Um, and because we tower boosted that... I'm going to go for this here just to help us out. Okay. You're going to try any more DDTs or is he dead to AI first? He might have just died to AI. Yep, he did. <laughs> Dude, why Why was I so nervous to use the strategy? We actually freaking destroyed these people. He just laughed right there too. I don't even know why. But this strategy absolutely ended up surprising me and hopefully it did to all of you watching as well. And GG's. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where it's the Dart Monkey versus the Super Monkey in Bonanza. And if you take a look at the thumbnail, it says the Super Monkey is bad and the Dart Monkey is good. It might be true. Check it out.